Hey kids, welcome back to Norway's Kids TV. We've got Charlotte here with us. Um, hey, today is all about God's big love. So Charlotte, um, I'm gonna play a bit of a game with you. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win because I win all games that I create because they're my rules, no. my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna win. No, 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 do you guys have any ideas? Let's begin with a pencil. I've got a big pencil. Oh, what? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. New game, new game, new game, new game. Okay. What's bigger than a convenient hand sanitizer bottle? Huh? Gotcha. <laughs> big hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, okay, okay. Put that down. Put okay. That down. Um, ready, ready. What's bigger than a handy water bottle? Huh? Huh? Water bottle, right? Ooh. Drink it, H2O, good for your body. What about a wood jug? Oh gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> it's really heavy. Okay, um, I don't think I'm really good at this game. <gasps> What's bigger than, I mean it is a small ball, but a ball. What's bigger than a ball? I don't have anything else here. Aha! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! No, I found one! Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, sit back down, no one needs to say <laughs> that. Um, what's bigger than a car? That what's car bigger than a car? It's even bigger than my ball. But luckily Yippee! I have a car. Winner. <laughs> Oops. Wait, what? How'd you get a car here? <laughs> oh. Okay, Charlotte, you might win this game. That's not the end of the story. Today, we're talking about God's big love. And it, we're going to find it in our Bible, particularly in John 3.16. Right now, we're going to have a bit of a game and think about God's big love. Because when we look at it, it changes everything for everyone. It's big enough for the whole world. All right, let's get on to our show today. Let's go. Hey, hello, everyone. I'm Ben. I'm part of the Kids Church team at Norwest. And today, as we're looking at God's big love, we're going to learn how big are these celebrities. Uh, they're, prob they're pretty well known, so you probably know them. Uh, and we're going to start with Benji Marshall or Taylor Swift. These are two. Um, Benji Marshall is my favourite NRL player. Uh, and Taylor Swift, very well known, especially by my sister, sadly. Um, so I'll give you five seconds to decide who do you think is going to be taller, Benji Marshall or Taylor Swift. The answer out of Benji Marshall, Taylor Swift, what do uh, Katy Perry or Justin Bieber? Uh, these are two very well known pop singers. Um, you probably know them. Uh, so I'll give you another five seconds to decide who do you think is going to be taller, Katy Perry or Justin Bieber? Okay, so the correct answer was Justin B. For the next one, we're going to do Cristiano Ronaldo or Steph Curry. Cristiano Ronaldo, known as a very tall soccer player, but Steph Curry, known as a very short basketball player. Uh, so I'll give you five seconds uh, to decide who do you think is taller, Cristiano Ronaldo or Steph Curry. So the correct answer was Steph Curry. Okay. Uh, so now we've learned about uh, which celebrities are taller. There's one thing that's bigger than all of these celebrities uh, ever will be, or anyone or anything will ever be, ever will be, and that's God's love for us uh, and for His people. And we're going to hear more about that from um, more of your leaders today. Bye.
and Daisy, and I'm going to read John, John chapter 3, verse 16. God loved his people of the world so much that he gave his only son so that everybody who has faith in him will have eternal life and never really die. Hi, Stephanie. I wanted to tell you about my day. First, I got like a new jumpsuit, which is pretty expensive, but like... Sorry, it's just for me. But um, next to go with it, I got like a really nice jacket, just for me. And oh yeah, since it's summer, I got some nice sunglasses, like jazzy sunglasses. So good. Sorry, you can't try them on. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I have like this. I put on a new Snapchat picture on Instagram and Snapchat, and. It's of me wearing this stuff. Make sure you like and subscribe it. And it's just for me, me, and me. Bye. Yeah, gotta go. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye. As you can hear from that phone call, that person was all about herself. But there is something far larger and bigger than the me and the I of our lives. Today's big idea is about God's big love for us. We're going to look at one sentence today. One sentence from John. It starts with, God so loved. What did God love? Well, he loved this world. The world he made. The world we live in. Why did he love this world? No, say again. Sorry, missed it. Just go for it. Well, I can, I can Just cut off the delete. video. Okay. All right. As you can hear from that phone call, that person was all about the herself. But there's something far bigger and far larger in this world than the me or the I in our lives. And it's about God's big love for us. Today, we can look at one sentence in the Bible. It's in the book of John. It starts with, God loved. What did God love? He loved the world, this world. God so loved the world, the world that we live in. It was a world full of jealousy, pain, anger, hate, greed and selfishness. This is the world that God loved. And how did God love this world? Well, he showed his love for us. I'll show you. God loved you. He loved you so much that he gave you his son. He had one son. His name is Jesus. In giving his son to us, God knew his son would die. But it was the only way God could save this world from all the anger, hate that was happening. And now, because of that action, whoever believes in him will live with God forever. And that is God's big love for us. It's great news, right? Well, I hope you guys have been listening because it's time for a quiz. Are you ready? Now, what I want you to do is I'm going to say a question and I want you to shout the answer back to the television. Your parents won't think you're crazy. It's okay. All right. Question number one. Who did God love? Easy one to start. Yep, you guys are right. God loved the world. He loved us. Okay, harder one. Question number two. What was the world like? Have a think. Yes, it was a horrible world. Greed, anger, hate, selfishness. People were not friends with God. So what did, question number three, what did God give us? Thinking, 
You like the answer? Can't hear you. That's correct. He's one and only son. Now for the last question. It's the hardest. Put your thinking caps on. Why did God give his one and only son? Think hard. Yeah, you guys have really been listening. So that anyone who believed in him would live with him forever. All right, guys, great answers. Well done. I think we'll say a quick prayer. Let's go. Father in heaven, we thank and praise you daily for giving us your son as a sacrifice for our sins. May we always be focused on Jesus. Thank you that if we believe in him, we may live with him forever. Amen. Now, one more thing. I want to know if you can memorize John 3.16. Maybe you could draw a picture to help you memorize it, put it on your bedroom wall. I made a little picture here, okay? Let's have a look. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not die but have eternal life. All right, you guys have a go. See you next week. Bye. I'm done. I'm Noel. I like animations. Anyway, God is attentive. I'm gonna play. Dear Father, you are always listening when I talk to you in prayer. Help me to never fear talking to you about anything. All because of Jesus. Amen. Hi everyone, welcome to Kathy's Challenge again this week. This week we've been talking about how we're all sinners, which is represented by this black paper. But Jesus' love for us meant that he came and died on the cross, represented by this red paper. So this week I thought what we do is have a look at how we can become more like Jesus in the craft that, that we do doing this week. So to start with, I've just got a piece of paper. This is what I'm going to make a template out of. So it doesn't matter, the blue isn't significant at all. So what we do is we'll fold it in a triangle. So what we are trying to do is to make a square piece of paper. So I've got my triangle, I'm going to cut it, cut that bottom section off. And now we have our square template as well. We'll then put the black and the red paper together and use that as our template to cut off that bottom section. Then keep those two pieces of paper together, don't need the blue one anymore, and we'll fold it in half. 
We only need half of each, each piece. So we'll now cut down that middle line that we just cut. So what we have now is half of that square. What we're going to do is just we're going to round the top of both of them together. And now we just get some strips up, don't go past that curved bit, we just want to take them up the straight section, just like that. We should get four, four strips it'll be. Now we can separate them and what we're going to do is we're going to weave them together and see what happens. Start with that top one, it'll go into where that top one is there. Now it is a little bit tricky, so you may need some help from your mum and dad or your brother and sister. So just each section, oops I missed one. Oops, I missed one. Let's go back. Put that one in the cross stitch. So while you're doing this, just think about how when you trust Jesus, he becomes more and more part of your life and we can change our lives to be more like him. And we can also tell others about him as well. And as we do that, our lives transfer, fur, transform and there we have it. We become more like Jesus and have his heart for people. So what you can do too then, is just glue those ends together, just by lifting up the tabs and glue. Then turn it round. Do the same on the other side. Trim off those extra bits that didn't get in. So as you can see, as we accept Jesus and say we're sorry, he can save us from our sins and show us his love. We can then in turn show others love as well. If you want to take it to the next level, what you can do is make another heart, which we will glue onto it, which looks like this one. And then why don't you put some Easter eggs in and give them to a friend and let them know how much Jesus loves them as well. Thanks for listening, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Still can't believe Charlotte beat me in my What's Bigger game. Anyway, kids, been a great episode being with Noise Kids TV. We have a stump the parent question for you to stump your parents with, all right? Here's this one, it's from John 3, 16. Why is Jesus the only way we can be saved, 
forgiven and have eternal life. Why is Jesus the only way for us to be saved, forgiven and have eternal life? God, it's been great to be with you. Hopefully we'll see you on site really soon, if not already, uh, but we'll see you uh, in the coming weeks. Bye.